Right lads, sit down, trail manor, that's where I am, in the garage. So, I said I'd do a video for this young lad. I'm very sorry son, I can't remember your name. I've looked for your message and I cannot find it. I've been quite a bit on there just recently. Apologies, but I'm doing the video for you. You asked about what sort of tools and what sort of brands to buy. So I'm gonna try and help you. Okay, so let's get going. Let me just say this, lads. You can all add bits and bobs into the comments. I get that, but listen to me. This is about the boys when they first start. They haven't got a lot of money, okay? So this is basic, basic tools. You're gonna need clamps and whatnot down the line, but right now you don't. You can borrow that stuff off the boys off the site. You'll be working with them, they can use their clamps or whatever. Okay, so this is what you need to get yourself. You need to get yourself a trowel, okay? That's a 10 inch trowel, it's a Marshall Town. It's a 19 pattern. That's a Marshall Town. That's a nine inch trowel, that's a 33 pattern. Then they do a 34, which is the same as a 33 shape, but just slightly wider down towards the heel of the trail, it's wider out here. So, get yourself a trail, it needs to feel good in your hand, it's gonna be your hand eight hours or whatever a day, you need to have the right balance and feel part of you. And learn to love your trail, look after your trail, that's what puts the fucking money in the bank or the cash in your hand, right? Look after your trail. Get yourself a trail, it doesn't have to be a Marshall down. WHS do very good trails. Uh, W Rose, very good trails. Those ox trails, they're all right, I suppose. I just don't like the angles. What you need in a trail, you need a one piece trail. So what I mean by that is where the handle is here, it sits on the, the piece of metal called the tang. So from the end of the tang to the end of the toe is one piece of steel and it's forged. The cheaper ones will be welded here. So it's two pieces, stay away, no good. Trail's done. Levels. I use the Beeler. This is a 96-2 model, I think. That's not four foot, but I've got obviously four foot, two foot, six foot. You don't need that. You need a four foot level. There's a four foot, it's the Beeler, with ribs. That's a 196-2K. That's what I'm reading. Obviously with these handles, he's got a couple of weaker points there, but they're handy. Four foot level, that's all you need, apart from a boat level, which is a small little level, sort of anything from eight, eight to 12 inches long. You don't need two foots and all that at the beginning. Four foot stabila level, it's the only one I recommend. Keep hydrated. Club hammer, get something a two pounder, something like that. Bolster, four inch, you gotta smack them concrete blocks and whatnot. And there's a slightly different style. Either or, don't need both right now. You're gonna need a chisel. That's about an eight inch chisel. It's a very old chisel that I bought on eBay. Lovely little tool that, nice sharp edge. Brick hammer, this one's an S-wing, which is American, as most of you know. Very good quality hammer. That will fucking last you forever. This one is a very light one. That's probably why I don't use it anymore. Must have a brick hammer. Tape measures. This is a Stanley. This one's eight meters. Loads of different brands of tape, tapes that are good. Stay away from the really cheap ones. If they get wet and then you put that away like that, you're in trouble the next day. So if it gets wet, try and dry it before you work it. Put it away, sorry. Or if you can take it home with you that night and your dad's got a garage or whatever, un, you know, unreal it in the garage, leave it there overnight and in the morning it'll be dry. Put it away and you're good to go. Corner blocks. At least two of them. Probably better to have more because they do get lost. Line. You've got to have line. I spoke a lot about line. I haven't got any here. Can you believe that? Sorry. Pencils. You've got to have pencils. Knife to sharpen the pencils and cut damp, whatnot. Cut packaging open. Line pins. The one with the tape on it, which is what we often do to, to start the line off so it doesn't spin around. That's an ox. The other one next to it is a footprint. 
both good quality. Permanent marker, chalk marker, jointing iron, rubbing iron, bucket handle in my day, right, BH Dinger. They don't sponsor me, boys, they give me fuck all, I have to pay for all this. That's the best on the market. You don't believe me, but it's true. Give you the best finish, but anyway. BH Dinger, this is a, a bucket handle, back from God knows how long, it's still going, look, that was massive once upon a time, you keep cutting it down and you keep using it. Dingers do one similar size to that. You don't need to buy both, they're 20 odd quid, they're not cheap. But buy, buy um, the large, that's the extra large, buy the large. Soft brush, horsehair, this one, gives a lovely finish, keep it dry. Don't use it to wash your tools. Pointing trail. That's a W rose. I've had that a long time. Beautiful little trail. It has worn down a lot. When you buy a pointing trail, make sure it's one piece forged again. Uh, and get the smallest one you can, like about a four and a half or a four inch. You don't need these five, five and a half, they're too big. That's lovely, I've done a lot of pointing of stonework and that and whatnot with that. It's a lovely little trowel. Sandpaper, if you're going to clean your trowels like I do, don't you do it at night or a bit of three in one oil. It'll rust overnight if you leave it, leave it in your bucket without touching it. Gloves, got to have gloves. It's not gay, we all get sore hands. You're going to need something to put them in. A box, a bucket, a bag. Boxes are waterproof, but then they're probably the dearest. That's down to you. Back in my day, everyone had buckets. Everyone they used to put the level through the handle and put it on your shoulder and walk out to sight. You don't see that as much now. Most people are I see have boxes and I don't blame them. This lot's expensive, let's look after it sort of thing. You're gonna get rust on your tools, but you can't help it, you're outside. But that has not compromised that bolster. That has not compromised that hammer. Or that hammer. You know what I mean? But you can keep your trowels clean with a little bit of a little bit of work. So brands. He said about brands. So I've mentioned a few. Okay, Stabila, very good. WHS. I'll say that again. WHS. Very good. W Rose, very good. S Swing, good. Footprint, good. Stanley, good. Ox, good. There's a lot of good tools out there. I probably miss loads. Uh, stay away from the cheap crap. It will not look after you, I promise. It's absolutely not worth it. So, give or take, this lot is going to be probably south, just south of 300 quid, which is a lot of money. So, you know, when you first die out, maybe you can dap. Uh, tap dad up to buy you maybe the trowel and the level and then you can buy the other bits Mum, what about Nan? She's always good for a couple of quid, isn't she? Try Nan Okay, so the trowel and the level are going to set you back the most Approximately, approximately 120 for the pair, maybe a tad more, a tad less, I don't know But I think you could probably get this lot Comfortably for between 250 300 all right, that's not how that helps, that young lad. I'm very sorry I, uh, I couldn't remember or find your name, but also it will help any other budding brick lads. You know, it's, uh, it's a big market out there, and I understand it's hard, it's hard to know what to do when you first start. It's like anything, isn't it? Not knowledge helps. But don't forget, you've got the lads on site. You know, they're going to guide you. They're not all arseholes, most bricklayers are sold to the earth. They only turn a bit strange when they do the old typing on the, uh, on the internet. But most lads I've worked with, I don't, I've had very few fallouts in the, in the length of time that I've been doing it. So they'll help. Good, so, hope it helps. All right, that's all, I've got to get up, turn the camera off. One thing I will say while I'm walking over here, I am gonna do that video about how to change a trail handle. Pug out.